Alright, moving on to the next one, we have the highlighted line charts in Tableau. This is especially important if you have multiple lines in one single view and there are different methods on how to do it. I'm going to show a quick one and a professional one. So let's start with the quick one. Let's have multiple lines in our charts. I'm going to take this time the country and put it on the colors. So with that, we got a one line for each value inside the country dimension. And now I would like to give the ability for the users to highlight one of those values. In order to do that, it's very simple. Go to the country over here, right click on it and let's go to the highlighter so here we have the option of show highlighter click on that so with that if you check the right side we're going to get small box in order to highlight the values inside the countries so the users can go over here and select one of those values for example germany and as you can see tableau going to go and highlight the line of germany and it's going to blur or other lines so this is really nice way in order to go and highlight different values in tableau in order to focus on one value so this is really great way in order to go and highlight one line, especially if you have a lot of multiple lines. So that was it. This is how you can create quickly a highlighted line chart in Tableau. Alright, so now we're going to talk about the second method on how to create highlighted line chart, but this time more professionally. So now I just duplicated the old line charts where we have the quarter, sum of sales and the countries on the colors, but this time we're going to get rid of this highlighter, so I'm just going to go and remove it. So now we have to give the users a list of all countries in order to select and this selected country is going to be highlighted in the view. So in order to do that, we're going to go and create a parameter. So let's go to the data pane, right click over here, then create a parameter. So here we're going to give it a name, select country. Since the country values are string, the data type is going to be as well a string. And now next we're going to go and create a list of all countries that we have inside the dimensions. So here we have four values. We have France. Be careful that you have exact case. So the first character is capitalized and the rest is small. So we have Germany, Italy. And the last one is USA. So that's it for our parameter. Let's go and hit OK. So with that, we get our new parameter on the left side. Right click on it and show parameter in order to see it here on the right side. Now the users can go over here and select one of those countries. But as you can see, nothing is changing in the view because we haven't connected yet to our view. Now, in order to connect it to our view, we have to go and create a new calculated field. So let's go to the data pane again, create calculated fields. Let's call it highlighted country and here we can have a very simple condition where we're going to say country equal our parameter so our parameter is going to be select country so here what we are saying is that if the selected country from the parameters equals to the value of the country then we're going to have true otherwise it's going to be false so for example now we currently we have the value france selected in the parameter that means the country france is going to be true and all other countries are going to be false let's go and hit ok so now we're going to go and work highlighting the selected country in order to do that let's start with the coloring so currently we have the coloring on the country i'm going to go and move it to the details so that means now the countries are just creating the lines and not responsible for the coloring of the lines now in order to bring the coloring we're going to get our new calculated field the highlighted country and let's put it on the colors so now we can see that we have only two colors because we have false and true so if it's true it's gonna be orange if it's false it's gonna be blue but i would like to change those colorings to do the highlight effect so let's go to the colors edit colors false gonna be gray and the true gonna be let's say for example the blue let's hit okay so now we get like a highlight effect all other lines are gray, and only the one that we selected is gonna be blue but now let's go and test our parameters so we have here france selected currently let's select germany and as you can see and as you can see now that selected line gonna be germany let's take italy and usa so now as you can see our parameter now is working so now here we have a little bit issue where the highlighted line is behind the gray lines so in order to switch that i would like to have the highlighted in the front and the gray in the back we're just going to go to the legend over here if you don't have it you can go to the analyzes and then here we have the option of the legends and make sure to select the colors so currently it's selected by me so what we're going to do we're just going to switch those two values so let's take the true and put it on top so with that we have sorted those two values and as you can see in the charts the blue color in the front and the gray color in the back and now the next step in order to create this highlight effect in tableau with that we're gonna change the size 
In order to do that, we're going to use our new calculated field. So the highlighted line, drag and draw it on the size by holding control. And now with that, we got different size for the highlighted line compared to the others. But here we have the opposite effect. But we don't want that. We want the rest going to be thin and the highlight going to be heavy. So in order to do that, let's go to the legend over here. Just double click over here. And now as you can see, the true is thin. The false is heavy. In order to switch it, we're going to go to reversed. Let's click on that and hit OK. So with that, you can see the highlighted line is way heavier than the rest. You can change the size if you don't like it like this. So we can reduce a little bit the sizing and it's going to be now more nice. All right, so that's all on how to create highlighted line in Tableau more professionally than the previous one where you have more control on the sizing and the coloring. The users can go over here and start changing the value. And with that, we are highlighting one line compared to the others. So that's it.